Good day. As you can see, it says Lab Report Format Science. Many of the labs you will do will be fill-in-the-blank labs, which makes it very straightforward for you and easy for me to mark. Some labs you will have to write out. And labs are the things I mark the toughest, even tougher than tests. So if you hand in nonsense and garbage, it will be dealt with severely. On the other hand, if you put lots of effort, lots of care and attention to detail, it's going to be great. So you can read through this sheet, and then in bold here, it says write on only one side of the page, that's for labs. You may use a computer, but of course, if people are submitting identical work because they shared information, that will earn a score of zero because that's plagiarism. You should under, underline all the headings with a ruler. You should have charts. They should be outlined with a ruler, a straight edge. Diagrams should be done in pencil. Graphs should be done in pencil. Diagrams and graphs should both be labeled. Avoid using pronouns like it. Be specific, in other words. Questions, you may have to answer in complete form. That means indicate what the question was. And be concise. Don't put in too much information. Just put in the answers to the questions. An example of what we're looking at, here's a title. It says name, date, block. That means your name, first and last. Purpose, procedure, materials. Often we don't need a prediction. Diagrams are sometimes required, sometimes not. But this will be spelled out for you, and it will finish with a conclusion. So again, read this sheet. But when we do the labs early on, I will go through this in detail, so there's not much to panic about just have this sheet near the front of your binder so you can refer to it when you're doing labs where you have to write things out in full yourself.